Hey everybody, Ann here. I've already had my coffee and I need to put together a special treat for the chicken. So let me show you what that is first. Look at this, you guys. Do you know what that is? That is crab meat from leftover crab claws from Mr. Lucas Christmas dinner that his family made. And so they gave them to me. They've been sitting around for a couple days. So I just took all the meat out of them and I'm going to feed it to the chickens today. I'm going to add some oats in there and whatnot. And I also found out that these eggshells, the chickens will eat the eggshells and they contain a lot of calcium. So I'm going to have to, well, I'm not sure I'm going to feed them all to the chickens because I'd also like to put them in a big pot, boil them up, and make a nice seafood stock out of it. But I think that I am going to crush up at least a few of the eggs and give them to the chickens because, well, they've got a lot of calcium in them. So yeah, let's see how the chickens love this. I hope they love it, but first I've got to go out to the van and just see if I can get in there without letting any of the chickens out and see if they left me any eggs. I just went and checked on the chickens and I got one egg today and it's a nice, big, beautiful egg and I'm going to definitely keep that one and fry it up or do something with it, I don't know. But before I give the chickens their little crab meat treat, I'm going to try and clip their wings one by one, at least the leg horns. I'm going to see if I can do it. I've been watching videos. I don't think that there's any way I can go wrong with this, so wish me luck. Okay, here we go. This is Patsy. I can tell because although she's cotton up in size to the other chickens, her little comb is kind of, I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of joined here at the end. Okay. I'm just going to get her nice and calm and find a good way to hold her. See the, the feathers I'm not supposed to cut. That's a good girl. It might be easier to hold her a different way. They said, really, you only need to do the ones up here, but uh, she's so flighty that it suggested that I cut these down at the bottom too. And I'm going to go right below this line of feathers. I'm actually shaking right now. <sighs> okay, girlfriend, we can do this. We, we can do it. No problems. No problems. No problems. I don't know if you can see this, but you think I cut them short enough? I went far enough away from these little feathers. I, I suppose I could cut more. Whew. I'm just going to see if this is enough. Good girl, Patsy. Good girl. Okay, I'm going to try the next one. This is Mama Hen. She's got the biggest comb. Looks like she's been getting pecked. All of them, all of their combs are... <sighs> okay. Alright, alright. Shh, 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 shh. It's okay. I'm gonna just set you down. It's okay. Come on, girlfriend. It's okay. Romeo is upset with me. Okay. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. 
okay, Mama. It's okay. I'm going to have to calm her down and come back. It's okay. It's okay, Mama. Let me go grab the next one. Got the last leg on here and she was, she was the hardest to catch. Just sweetheart. I don't even know if you guys can see this. Am I doing okay? See. Actually, I think I had it wrong. Yep, I do. This one's Patsy. This one's Patsy. She has the least developed comb. The other one has, actually, this part started out as three. Patsy's was just two. So this is Patsy. And she likes to kind of sit a little bit more. Okay. Now for the barred rocks the Bard Rock and the Black Asians. Whew. I've got Coco here and she's substantially bigger. Alright, this is going to be a little bit different. I'm sorry, girlfriend. I don't think I'm going to go all the way back down here to these wings because these Asian blacks and the barred rock aren't quite as flighty. So I'm going to see if I just clip these up here, if that'll be enough. I'm sorry, Coco. All right, I'm gonna let her calm down and come back. I can do this. It's okay.
hope that'll be enough for her because I think Coco's had enough. All right, good girl. That's a good girl. Her feathers are so beautiful. <laughs> All right, on to the next. This is another pretty black Asian. And she doesn't have a name yet. She's got beautiful turquoise bluish feathers. It would be... I know. Whew. Okay. Let's give it a go, girlfriend. Woo. They are jacked up. I don't think I need to do these other feathers down here. All right, you go. You go defend your sister. Look at this one. That wasn't so bad, was it? Okay. You're good. Go on. One more left. Here's my pretty barred rock. And, although she looks to be about the same size as Coco and the other black Asian, she's, she's not as big. And she was the easiest to catch. All right. You eating some straw? <laughs> she doesn't like me pulling on her wing. Okay. All right, let me get her calm and I'll come back. This, is, this one's not gonna be easy. There's no way about it. I just need to see if I can get her held on too strong enough. All right, I think that's it. If it looks like they're still flying over the fence, uh, these other ones, I'm going to go back and, and trim these off. They're the kind of like the second ones. Come on. I don't know, though. Let me just try. I'm just going to get these. I might as well. She's being calm. Okay. 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 All right. So this one doesn't have a name either. Whew, I did it. Whew, I did it. Um, I'm not going to clip 
Romeo's wings. I, I think he'll stay where the hens are. So, um, well, I did it. It's time to give them their treat now. Come on out, Romeo. Oops. Come on out, big boy. I'm sorry I bothered your hens. Come on out. Good boy. Yes, yeah, so I'm definitely going to pick up all those feathers. <laughs> no question about that. Let's just put their bowls down and see how they like their treat. All right, girls, just in case there's infighting. There you go. Here you go, sweetness. <sighs> Looks like they love it. <laughs> yeah, the leghorns. They're, they are up in arms now. There you go. You go over there and eat with your sister. They're loving it. Good Coco. Okay, you guys, I did it. Whew. That wasn't, well, it was scary for me just because I've never done it, but I did it. So hopefully I accomplished the goal that I set out to, to prevent them from flying over when I don't want them to. So maybe I can let them out a little bit sooner and um, just let them roam around in the yard until they're ready to lay an egg. Whoops. What's mama going to do? You be nice, Mama. Whew. All right, I'm going to get out of this pen and just let them kind of relax and recover. <sighs> I did it. Yep, I did it. And I'm pretty proud of myself. I was scared to death, but I did it. And one thing, the next time, I'm going to put Judy inside. I think that her barking kind of agitated the chickens even more made them more nervous so next time she's going inside the tiny house because she barked through the whole thing but I got it done and they're all still in the pen none of them have even tried to fly so well looky who I have here why is she sitting outside the chicken pen because she flew up landed on that side and flew out so apparently I've not cut off enough so, I'm not going to film me doing that, but I'm going to do it and hope it works this time. In a way, I kind of feel a little bad about it, but I think it's necessary if you want to keep them in your chicken yard. And I think that that's pretty necessary. I'm still going to let them free range from time to time, but uh, at least until about 1 p.m. I want them in the yard, but I don't want to keep them cooped up in the van coop until 1 p.m. So, this way I can let them out a little sooner. If they need to go back and lay an egg, they can do that. Whew, what a relief. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.